welcome once again to session number 3 in patient care 3A why 3A uh, because this session is too long I've tried to make it into a simpler way so as you can understand and you cannot become uh, too weak to understand it so the session is it is is take and interpret vital signs, temperature, respiration, and the pass. Here are our learning objectives. Explain vital or cardinal signs, temperature, respiration, and the pass, and the other relative terms, especially specific vital signs. Identify appropriate times for assessing vital signs. Describe factors that are affecting the respective vital signs. Identify site used to assess vital signs. Describe procedure of assessing and interpreting each individual vital sign. Describe appropriate intervention for alternation in body temperature, body pressure, pass and respiration. Describe common altered blazing pattern and sound. Explain vital or cardinal signs, temperature, respiration and pass. And the other related term to specific vital sign. Perform procedure for taking vital sign and interpret vital sign. Definition of term. Vital or cardinal sign. Our body temperature, pass, respiration, blood pressure, and the pain that indicate how effectively the body is carrying out the essential activity of life. When you so the term called the vital, vital means very important, especially that uh, carry essential activities of life. That is why we call it vital or cardinal sign. This is the ashiria ambavyo mtu akivipata au vikiwa tofauti vikiwa tofauti na mwenendo wake wa kawaida basi vinaashiria hali ya maisha haiko vizuri kwa mfano uh, temperature ambayo ni joto tuna pass ambao ni ma, mapigo ya moyo ya mwenendo wa mapigo ya moyo kwenye mishipa ya damu upumuaji blood pressure ni mapigo ya moyo jinsi gani msukumo wa damu unavyoenda na maumivu hayo yakibadilika basi inaonesha huyu binadamu ana matatizo ndio maana tunaita vital sign sasa hii kwa ni neno vital lakini vital sign are governed by the body's vital organ such as brain heart and lung kwa nini tumeita vital sign tumeita vital sign kwa sababu kuna vital organ ni viungo vya mwili ambavyo ni nyeti. Hivi ndio viungo nyeti, sio viungo unavyojua wewe. Viungo nyeti ni mfano brain, heart and lung. If the brain is damaged, there is be no any function of the body. If the heart does not work, the body itself will not perform the normal work. If the lung has got the defect there will be no oxygen in the body, no supply of oxygenated blood as the end is a cell death or cell injury. Any serious illness or any failure of body organ to function adequately will be evident through change in the vital side. Kwa hiyo tutajuaje kwamba huu mwili haufanyi kazi vizuri au huyu mtu ana matatizo. Pindi tutakapokuja kuona Easy vital sign zetu zimebadilika. Welcome again in patient care lesson. Today it is session number 3B. Last week uh, we are looking on the session known as take and interpret vital signs. We passed the over um, temperature, respiratory rate and pulse rate. Now we are coming to the conclusion on take uh, on blood pressure. So blood pressure uh, we are going to see the following learning objective. Our learning objective by the end of this session 
students are expected to be able to define blood pressure and other related terms, describe the uh, determinants of blood pressure, describe factor affecting blood pressure, uh, identify abnormalities of blood pressure, describe important consideration when you are assigning blood pressure, so describe five phases of cold cough sounds, describe common if errors and effect when assigning blood pressure, describe the procedure for assigning blood pressure. Uh, definition of term. Uh, blood pressure is a measure of the pressure exerted by the blood as it is flow through the arteries. Kwa hiyo ni ile eh, pressure kipimo body pressure ni kipimo cha pressure ambayo inakuwa ikionyeshwa kwenye kuta za arteries. Uh, systolic pressure. Systolic pressure is the highest point of pressure in the artery occurs when the left ventricle of the heart contract. Uh, kama tunavyojua kwamba kwenye left ventricle ndio kuna muscles nyingi na ndio blood inakuwa pumped out to the uh, peripheral or to the other parts of the body na milija ambayo inatoa damu kutoka kwenye uh, moyo kupeleka sehemu mbalimbali za mwili ni artery sasa moyo unavyo contract damu inaua inatoka nje sasa ikitoka nje inatoka ikiwa na pressure ambayo zina act on the walls of the blood arteries sasa ile highest point ya kwanza wakati na contract inaitwa systolic pressure. Diastolic pressure. The diastolic pressure is the lowest point of pressure in the arteries and occur when the ventricle muscles of the heart relax be, uh, be between beats. Kama tunapojua uh, moyo una contract na huo una relax. Uki contract damu inatoka nje uki relax uh, damu inaingia ndani. Sasa unapokuwa una relax pale uh, blood pressure kwenye muscles of the arteries huwa inakuwa iko chini kwa hiyo inakuwa lowest point ndio tunapima kipimo kinaitwa diastolic pressure pass pressure is the difference between systolic and diastolic pressure kwa hiyo tukichukua systolic mara kwa mara eh, systolic pressure mara kwa mara huwa inakuwa kubwa ku compare na, na diastolic kwa hiyo ukichukua systolic pressure ambayo ndio ya juu kabisa tunatoa na diastolic pressure hiyo difference inaitwa pass pass pressure uh, here is uh, demonstration on how the systolic and the diastolic occur what is the diastolic and the systolic Oh, systolic ni pale damu inapokuwa inatoka inatoka nje lakini diastolic uh, pale ambapo moyo unarudisha damu kurudi uh, ndani ya moyo hiyo uh, ndio movement wakati ina expand pressure uh, ina expand kwenye walls of artery hiyo inaitwa inaitwa systolic kwa hiyo tumeona jinsi maona vikuwa una contract na relax na vie inaweza ku exert pressure katika kwa walls of the artery here are the determinant of blood pressure via shilia via blood pressure determinant of blood pressure all normal, uh, all normal individual are expected to have the same measure of blood pressure tunategemea kila mtu awe na 
kiasi sawa cha blood pressure normal blood pressure is uh, 120 mm of mercury eh, hii ni simbo ya mercury wale unosoma chemistry ambayo inaitwa ni systolic ile ya juu kabisa wakati blood pressure inapomoyo unapokuwa una contract una pump dam uh, away and the 80 8 mm of mercury diastolic. Hii ni diastolic ile lowest kabisa blood pressure wakati moyo unapokuwa una, una relax. However, there are few differences in the measures of blood pressure depending on number of factors. Kwa hiyo tunapokuwa tunapima blood pressure hii 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 factor ambayo tunaona kwamba normal blood pressure hatuwezi tukaipata kwa sababu kuna kwa kuna factor nyingi determinant of blood pressure kwa hiyo kuna uh, first is called salt sensitivity anasema salt sensitivity high dietary sodium has been found as cause of hypertension kwa hiyo mtu ambaye anakunywa vyakula vyenye chumvi sana uh, inaweza ikawa ni moja ya chanzo cha kupata uh, high blood pressure ambayo tunaita hypertension inatokeaje Uh, salt inasababisha hypertension tutakuja kuangalia kwenye video zinazofuata genetic factor example sex females usually have lowest blood pressure than male of the same age ukiwa una miaka 30 na mwanamke ana miaka 30 mna kila kitu sawa lakini unakuta uh, unakuta mwanamke ana blood pressure ndogo kuliko ya kwako wewe mwanaume hii ni genetic factor kulingana tu na utofauti wa kiarisia yani tangu mtu alipozaliwa ndio unakuta wanawake wana pressure zao zinakuwa hivyo wanaume pressure zao zinakuwa hivyo uh, less au ethnicity tukija hapa kwenye mambo ya ya age kuna age age is a very normal blood pressure for older people tend to be a little bit high kwa hiyo ukichukua mtu mzee unakuta blood pressure yake kidogo inakuwa iko juu body mass body mass high body mass index is associated with high blood pressure watu wenye wenye uzito wa kupitiliza wanaonekana wanaweza kuwa na blood pressure kubwa tutaangalia pia inatokea diet over diet quite macro and micronutrient content dati mtu akiwa anakula chakula ambacho kinakuwa kina fat nyingi unawezekana ukawa na blood pressure exercise if, uh, physical activities increase cardiac output and hence is a blood pressure unapokuwa unafanya kazi kubwa mwili unahitaji nguvu uheme kwa haraka ili upate oksijeni ikaweze kavunje chakula kiweze kukupa nguvu ya kuendelea kufanya exercise kwa hiyo inabidi moyo pump haraka sana kwa mtu kimchukua mtu tu ametoka kufanya exercise ukampima blood pressure utakuta iko juu. That's 20 up to 30 uh, minute of rest following exercise is indicated before checking blood pressure. Uh, 20 up to 30 minute of rest following exercise is indicated before checking blood pressure. Kwa hiyo mtu akitoka kufanya mazoezi, amekuja hospitali, anakuja amekimbia, anawahi labda usifunge hospitali usimpime inabidi apumzike kama dakika ishirini au 30 uh, ndio uweze kumpima blood pressure vinginevyo utakuta iko juu stress stress increase blood pressure however severe pain decrease blood pressure by inhibiting uh, vasomotor center and producing vasodilatation kwa hiyo mtu anapopata stress stress ni mwili unakuwa aidha umekuwa compressed au mtu ana mawazo au kitu chochote kwa mfano uh, severe pain eh, mtu kipata stress blood pressure inaongezeka lakini mtu kipata severe pain inakuwa kinyume chake mtu akikuumiza sana ukapata severe pain uh, inakuwa inakuwa iko chini kwa, kwa nini inakuwa chini kwa sababu kuna kuwa kuna inhibition of uh, vasomotor center kwenye nervous system and producing vasodilatation kwa hiyo inabidi blood pressure ishuke chini ili eh, kuotokee vasodilatation ili we, mwili uweze 
kuresist hiyo pain mtu asi, asipate maumivu kwa hiyo blood pressure kwenye pain inakuwa inapungua medications mene medication may increase or decrease blood pressure kuna dawa nyingine ukinywa inaweza kupunguza pressure au, au ikaongeza pressure ah uh, you know va, va, variation uh, pressure is usually lowest early in the morning when the metabolic rate is the lowest then it rises the, uh, throughout the day the uh, peaks in the late or afternoon or early evening Hello. Uh, nyakati uh, ukipima pressure asubuhi uh, kabisa mapema kabla mtu ajaanza kula ajaanza kufanya shughuli mbalimbali pressure yake unakuta iko ya kawaida kabisa ikiwa chini associated disease example hypertension diabetes and renal the dysfunction kwa mfano mtu ana tatizo la kwenye figo ana ana ugonjwa wa kisukari au ana pressure yenyewe basi utakuta blood pressure itakuwa iko juu kwa hiyo inakuwa affected kulingana na vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo hizi ndiyo uh, determinant of blood pressure kwa hiyo kabla mtu hujampima blood pressure lazima uangalie kwa viashiria vinavyosababisha blood pressure iwe juu au iwe chini. Kwa hiyo ukipima wanawake sana hapo unakuta wanakuwa wana pressure zao ziko hadi na kumi kwa sabini ambao yeye kwake inakuwa ni normal blood pressure. Factors that are affecting blood pressure. Sasa ukiambiwa wa factors ambazo zina affect blood pressure. Yaani ni factors zipi ambazo zinasababisha pressure iwe juu au iwe chini ni kubwa nne haya mambo mengine yote tuliyoyaona hapo juu kwenye determinant yanaweza kawa ni example kwenye hizi factor a uh, factor moja wapo kati ya hizi uh, the first one uh, is called the, the first factor is called peripheral resistance tutaenda kuziona huko baadaye Peripheral resistance blood cells and the plasma encounter resistance when they contact blood vessel wall. Kwa hiyo damu ikiwa inatoka ikikuta kwenye blood vessel kuna 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 kitu au kimeongezeka au kimekaa njiani basi peripheral resistance ndio inatokea kwa 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 namna hiyo if resistance increases eh, then more pressure is needed to keep blood moving kwa hiyo uki, ukichukua kwa mfano uh, bomba la maji ukaliziba kidogo likiwa linatoka na pressure ndogo yale maji ukiyakinga kwa mbele utakuta yanatoka kwa pressure kubwa kwa nini yanatoka kwa pressure kubwa ili kuovercome hiyo resistance kwa hiyo kama kuna peripheral resistance au kwenye kwenye mishipa ya damu kuna kuna kipingamizi chochote basi utakuta uh, blood pressure inakuwa kubwa ili kuweza ku overcome hiyo resistance three main sources of peripheral resistance bado tupo kwenye peripheral resistance kwenye peripheral resistance tutaangalia uh, blood vessel di, diameter uh, uh, tutaangalia blood vessel eh, blood viscosity uh, tutaangalia total vessel length tutaangalia vessel elasticity tutaangalia blood volume na tutaangalia cardiac output hizo zote zitakuwa zinaonesha uh, peripheral resistance sasa we have we start we see blood vessel di, diameter blood vessel diameter diameter jamani mnajua a uh, ukikata katikati ukikata katikati mwa shilingi hiyo inaitwa da, diameter ukikata katikati mwa shilingi inaitwa diameter sasa kwenye blood vessel unakumbu, una, kama unavyo tunavyojua kwamba inakuwa ni ni kama tubu kama tubu fulani kwa hiyo katikati huwa ni diameter sasa unapokuwa na diameter kubwa maana yake tubu inakuwa ni kubwa Uh, unapokuwa diameter ndogo basi tubu ni ndogo wale tuliosoma physics hapo nadhani tutaelewana pressure is equal to force over area when the area is 
increased, hence the pressure is decreased. It is inverse the proportion. Kama area ikiwa ni ndogo uh, basi kama area ikiwa ni ndogo basi eh, pressure itakuwa kubwa. Kama area ikiwa kubwa pressure itakuwa ndogo. Kwa hiyo volume eh, diameter ikiongezeka diameter ikiongezeka maana yake na area pia inaongezeka kwa hiyo blood pressure itakuwa ndogo. Kwa hiyo damu itapita vizuri kabisa. Lakini kama diameter ikiwa ndogo damu itapita kwa ukinzani. Uh, blood uh, blood vessel as is the diameter of tube get smaller a greater proportion of the fluid is in contact with the wall of the tube. Kwa hiyo kama diameter ikiwa ndogo kwa hiyo tunaona damu inakuwa ina contact sana na na tube. Therefore the resistance to flow increased and the pressure rise. Kwa hiyo ule ku, ile flow ya blood inakuwa ina ukinzani unakuwa mkubwa kwa hiyo na pressure unaongezeka. Larger diameter same volume less pressure. Um, kama kuna diameter ikiwa kubwa na na, na, na kiwango cha damu kipo kile vile basi pressure inakuwa ndogo. Smaller diameter same volume more pressure kama kawaida. Ukiwa na tundu dogo basi pressure inakuwa kubwa. Constriction of blood vessel raises blood pressure. Na blood vessels zenyewe zikiwa zina zina constrict zaidi basi pressure inakuwa juu. Vessel diameter is actively regulated by by vasomotor fibers. Sympathetic nerve fibers that innervate the vessels is muscle muscle layers. Kwa hiyo kuna kuwa kuna kuna mishipa ya fahamu ina, inakuwa imekuwa attacked kwenye vessels za kwenye za kwenye blood kwenye 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 vein au kwenye nevu sasa zile ndio zina trigger vessel hizo zikontract au zirelax zikikontract zaidi basi blood pressure inakuwa kubwa zikirelax zaidi basi blood pressure inakuwa ndogo kwa hiyo hiyo ndio inaitwa vessel diameter inavyokuwa vasomotor fiber release na norepinephrine nore, nore, nore a powerful vasoconstrictor a vasoconstrictor is a substance that causes the blood vessel to contract kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho kinasababisha uh, blood vessel ili contract blood vessels diameter is also regulated by blood bone vasoconstrictor Uh, record the effect of each of those chemical on the blood vessel. Kwa hiyo hizi vaso uh, uh, vaso constrictor ziki constrict maana yake ku constrict ni kuingia kwa ndani basi diameter inapungua. Ziki relax uh, basi diameter inakuwa kubwa. Kwa hiyo diameter ikiwa kubwa pressure inakuwa inakuwa ndogo. Another part uh, in peripheral resistance is the blood viscosity. Blood viscosity uh, huu ni ni kimiminika chenyewe kwa mfano ukichukua maji yana viscosity ndogo kulinganisha na asali. Asali imekuwa nzito sana kwa hiyo ina viscosity kubwa. Kwa hiyo ukiangalia mfano damu ya mtu mwenye kisukari na damu ya mtu ambao haina kisukari chukua hata maji yachanganye na sukari nyingi na maji ambayo yana sukari kidogo utaona yale ni sukari nyingi yanakuwa mazito kwa hata damu vile eh, vile vile damu ya mtu mwenye kisukari inakuwa inakuwa ina high viscosity kama ina high viscosity maana inakuwa ni vigumu sana kuipush kuipush kwenda eh, kuipush kwenda sehemu nyingine inakuwa ni ni, ni, ni vigumu kwa hiyo inahitaji pressure kubwa. Ukirudi kwenye physics, pressure is equal to density times height uh, na uh, uh, density times height. Ukiangalia hiyo ni, ni density ya, ya fluid. Kwa uki, ukitoa height kuweka constant pale itakuwa pressure is directly proportional to density. Na So if the pressure increased the density is increased and the pressure increased that means that uh, in viscosity uh, there is high density 
of uh, fluid. When the viscosity increases, uh, it means also the blood pressure will be increased. Uh, viscosity is related to the thickness of the fluid. The greater the viscosity, the less easier molecules slide apart one another and the more difficult it is to get the fluid moving and keep it moving. Because of this greater resistance to flow, a greater pressure is required to pump the same volume of viscous fluid. The hematocritic is the percentage of lady blood cells in the total blood volume. Wakati mwingine unakuta lady blood cells zikiwa nyingi pia uh, viscosity inaongezeka na at the end inakuwa ni vigumu moyo kupampu kwa hiyo blood pressure inaongezeka the hematocritic effect blood viscosity and is there for the resistance to flow the more the viscous is the blood is the greater the resistance to encounter and the highest the blood pressure kwa hiyo damu ikiwa na viscosity kubwa ina sukari nyingi ina um, lady blood cells nyingi kwa hiyo manake resistance pia inakuwa kubwa at the end blood pressure inakuwa kubwa the hematocrit hematocrit manake plasma with lady blood cells kwa hiyo ukichukua damu ukaiweka kwenye centrifuge ita separate eh, ita separate lady blood cells zitakaa chini na plasma zitakaa juu hii ndio inaitwa hematocrit can increase when there is more lady blood cells or less plasma in the blood kwa hiyo kama maji maji yakiwa uh, maji maji yakiwa kidogo na lady blood blood cells zikiwa nyingi maana yake uh, maana yake blood pressure lazima nani viscosity itakuwa kubwa viscosity itakuwa kubwa hapa ni mfano ukichukua unga hiyo lady blood cells afu maji yawe au uh, tuchukue labda uh, maziwa ya unga maziwa ya unga yawe lady blood cells afu maji yawe plasma kwa maji yakipungua ukaweka maji kidogo afu kaweka maziwa ya unga mengi kwa hiyo utaona yale ukichanganya ile, ile solution yako itakuwa ni nzito kwa hiyo ndio hapa nasema plasma ikiwa less na afu na lady blood cells ikiwa nyingi basi anasema kwamba eh, eh, it can increase hematocritic can increase when there is more lead blood cells or less plasma in the blood but lakini ukienda kinyume ukichukua ule unga uh, ule ma, maziwa yale ya unga yakiweka kidogo afu kaongeza maji akawa mengi basi ule mchanganyiko wako utakuwa mwepesi kwa hematocrit can decrease when there is fewer lead blood cells or more plasma kwa hiyo lead blood cells ikiwa ndogo plasma ikiwa juu hematocritic ina increase inakuwa inakuwa decrease kwa hiyo hematocritic huu mchanganyiko wa damu uki, ukiwa uko uko increased kwa hiyo na utasababisha resistance itakuwa kubwa matokeo yake pressure itakuwa kubwa ukiwa decreased resistance itakuwa ndogo na pressure itakuwa ndogo okay Uh, now we are going to another part of total vessel length total uh, vessel length urefu 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 wa huo mshipa wenyewe una affect vipi blood pressure the total vessel length affect peripheral resistance increase the fat tissue require more blood vessels to 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 save it and add to the total vessel length in the body the longer the total length is the greater the resistance encountered and the greater the blood pressure okay hapa ukiwa unapewa mgao wa maji bomba lako likiwa lipo fupi karibu na chanzo cha maji utapata maji uh, utapata maji kwa urahisi jinsi urefu unavyozidi kuongezeka kwenda mbali kule maji unaweza kukuta yanakuja kwa kusuasua au yanaweza yakawa yana shida kwenye kutoka pia kwenye uh, blood vessel hivyo hivyo kama una 
unakuwa u, mtu hufanya mazoezi mafuta yameongezeka kwa hiyo itabidi zile kapila ile ambazo zilikuwa zinafika kwenye tishu ziongezeke tena zaidi ili ziweze ku, ku, kufika kwenye mafuta yale ambayo mwili ume, umeongeza kwa zikiongezeka kwa hiyo na resistance inakuwa kubwa kwa sababu zile kapila zinazidi kuwa mishipe na zidi kuwa ndogo kwa hiyo Napozidi kuwa ndogo basi resistance inaongezeka na baadaye inakuwa blood pressure inaikuwa increased. So so total ve, eh, total vessel length total vessel length affect peripheral resistance increased fatty tissue require more blood vessel to save it and uh, add to the total vessel length in the body. The longer the the longer the vessel length the greater the resistance encountered and the greater the blood pressure bado tupo kwenye peripheral resistance kipengele kingine uh, kinaitwa vessel elasticity elasticity physics wale wenzangu ambao tulikimbia physics ukitaka kujiunga huku lazima uwe umesoma physics elasticity ni ile hali ya, uta, ya kuweza kutanuka Eh, kama mpira unaweza ukautanua kwa kiwango gani kuna mpira mwingine unaweza ukauvuta sana mpaka mikono yote ikatanuka mwingine ukiwa mfupi unauvuta kidogo au mwingine unakuwa una elasticity kubwa uwezi kuutanua zaidi kwa na mishipa na yenyewe ina elasticity yake beside peripheral resistance blood vessel elasticity also affect blood pressure healthy elastic artery expands absorbing the shock of systolic pressure eh? sasa kama uh, moyo una pump unapokontract moyo unatengeneza systolic pressure ukitengeneza systolic pressure kuna kuwa kuna forces zinakuwa exerted toward the walls of the artery sasa kama artery ina ina good au health elasticity but, but, basi itaweza ku expand na yenyewe kulingana na pressure iliyo kuja nayo. Lakini kama itakuwa haiko health basi e, systolic pressure ikigonga iki, iki, kwenye blood vessel uh, ina inashindwa ku expand kulingana na jinsi e, pressure ilivyokuja. The elastic recoil of the vessel then maintains the continue, continued flow of blood during uh, the diastole. Kwa hiyo kuna recall eh physics tena okay recall ukipiga bunduki afu inarudi hivi chini hiyo inaitwa recall kwa mfano uh, uh, blood pressure iki, kwenye systolic ikienda ina exact afu ikiwa inarudi inaitwa recall kwa hiyo the elastic recoil of the vessel maintaining continued flow of blood during the stall kwa hiyo kama in, uki iki, iki exact afu in, inaweza kurudi sehemu yake basi uh, ina maintain blood flow iendelee vizuri when an individual has arteriosclerosis haya ni hizi ni pathological problem uh, of an individual arteriosclerosis and the arteriosis become calcified and rigid kwa kuna kuna haya magonjo ambayo unakuta ile blood vessel inakuwa iko rigid haiwezi ku expand wala ku relax au ina expand kidogo au ina relax kidogo hapo tunaongelea elasticity inakuwa hard ni classify classified inakuwa kama vile umepata kasha mfulani hivi inakuwa ngumu so they can't expand when they pass move systolic pressure passes through them that is the War of arteries experience higher pressure and become weaker and weaker. Kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku kama expand vizuri eh, kama unavyopuliza pulizo unalipuliza lina, linaenda uki, ukiacha linarudi eh, kama likiwa gumu kabisa inabidi upulize kwa nguvu uh, hadi masikio yanauma. Kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku that is the war of the artery expand higher pressure inabidi utumie pressure kubwa kwa hiyo elasticity magonjo ambayo ukiambiwa ni ugonjwa gani ambayo unaweza kusababishwa na factor ya elasticity uh, unaitwa arteriosclerosis
ateo a a arterio sclerosis unaona neno artery in affect artery artery inakuwa hardening so that is the how elasticity affect blood pressure elasticity affect blood pressure we come to another thing which affect blood pressure bado tupo kwenye peripheral resistance inaitwa blood volume um, inaitwa blood volume uh, let go again back uh, where we started uh, we said that factor affecting blood pressure ilikuwa ni peripheral resistance tumeona peripheral resistance zinavyokuwa tukaangalia na lens na vitu gani humo na na viscosity tukaangalia zina affect peripheral resistance but uh, vessels elasticity tumeangalia how uh, the, the, the blood vessel can uh, can expand and contract can uh, can expand and, and contract uh, blood volume now we are come to as uh, a part of a blood volume before cardiac output body volume body volume affects body pressure na hiyo pia ina affect body pressure kwa ukisema mtu ana ana pressure iko juu kuna factor zote hizi inabidi zizingatie when is there is a greater volume of fluid more fluid places against the walls of the arteries resulting in greater pressure kama kuna kiwango kikubwa cha maji kwenye damu uh, kinasababisha uh, uh, more fluid iende kwenye kwenye against walls of, blood, uh, uh, of the blood vessel at the end inasababisha uh, greater pressure sasa haya maji yanapatikana mengi vipi kwenye damu kwenye damu haimaanishi kwamba tukinywa maji mengi basi tutakuwa tuna tuna more volume of fluid no kuna condition ambazo zinasababisha maji yaingie kwenye mishipa ya damu tutaona condition moja wapo ni, ni, ni kutumia chumvi chumvi unapokuwa umeitumia kwa kiwango kikubwa huwa inakaa kwenye mishipa ya damu hasa inapokuwa chumvi ikifika kwenye mishipa ya damu tunaangalia kwenye mishipa ya damu kuna force ziko mbili kuna force ambayo ina ina act uh, away from the blood vessel na kuna force ina act toward the blood vessel sasa chumvi kiwa nyingi ina uh, inasababisha concentration inakuwa kubwa kwenye damu uh, kulinganisha na nje nje ya mshipa wa damu kwa hiyo kukiwa kuna high concentration kuna kitu kinaitwa osmotic pressure yenyewe inatend the movement of fluid from low region of concentration to the highest region of concentration kwa hiyo uh, fluid itatoka kutoka kwenye interstitial uh, spe, interstitial tissue is inaingia inaingia kwenye blood blood vessel mwisho wa siku tunakuwa tuna a glitter volume ya kwenye damu matokeo yake moyo unapata shida ku pump at the end we end we see glitter pressure when is there is less volume there is less pressure reduce the blood volume for example due to excessive sweating mtu aki sweat zaidi uh, aki, akiwa amefanya mazoezi akatoa uh, da, ma, akatoa maji kwa njia ya, ya jasho ina reduce blood uh, blood pressure short term kwa hiyo kwa kipindi hicho ukifanya mazoezi ndio maana unashauriwa utufanye mazoezi kwa sababu unavyo sweat ukifanya mazoezi hakikisha ume sweat ukisweat unatoa uh, unapunguza kiwango cha maji kwenye damu na ambacho ukipunguza kiwango cha maji unasababisha pressure inakuwa chini long term homeostatic mechanism co constant uh, uh, bringing blood volume and blood pressure back up to the normal level uh, sasa ukifanya mazoezi kwa muda mfupi kwa kipindi hicho short term pressure itakuwa iko chini 
lakini ukiwa unafanya mazoezi mara kwa mara mara kwa mara eh angalau mara kwa wiki unafanya mara nne mazoezi una mwili unazoea mwisho wa siku hii blood pressure itakuwa iko nomo itakuwa iko chini kawa kabisa ikiwa ya kawaida increase the blood volume for example due to water retention from excessive salt intake increase the blood pressure short term tumeshaongelea hiyo hiyo uh, salt long term homeostatic mechanism co compensate bringing blood volume and the blood pressure back to normal level kwa ukiendelea ku kupunguza sukari sukari nani ukipunguza chumvi kwa muda mrefu basi basi aa, itakusaidia pia kupunguza blood uh, pressure last way on the factors that are affecting blood pressure is the cardiac output cardiac output anything anything that decreases cardiac output also decreases blood pressure because there is less pressure on the vessel wall uh, moyo unavyokuwa kitu chochote kitu ambacho kinasababisha moyo usiweze kutoa damu kwa, 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 kwa nguvu zaidi ni kitu hicho hicho kitasababisha kita pia uh, uh, kitasababisha pia uh, ku, ku, kupunguza pressure katika uh, wall vessel wall an increase in cardiac output will that in increase the blood pressure kwa hiyo moyo ukipump damu kwa 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 kwa, kwa kasi zaidi utasababisha pia blood pressure iongezeke tuna formula hapa cardiac output is equal to heart rate times the stroke volume cardiac output uh, ni sawa sawa na hichi ni kiwango cha damu ambacho kinatoka kwenye moyo ni sawa sawa na ma, mapigo yake ya moyo unaz, unazidisha na kiwango cha damu ambacho kinarudi unapata cardiac output anything that affect heart rate or stroke volume affect cardiac output that's blood pressure sentence hii ina maana kwamba kwa wale tulosoma physics na mathematics again if you keep a heart rate constant and the echo sign will be removed will be replaced by proportionality sign cardiac output will be directly proportional to the stroke volume kwa cardiac output ikiwa kubwa stroke volume ikiwa inakuwa kubwa au stroke volume ikiongezeka kiwango cha damu kinachoongezeka kurudi kitasababisha na kiwango cha damu kinachoongezeka kutoka ukiweka ikiwa constant afu kuweka proportionality sign itakuwa cardiac output is directly proportional heart rate kwa hiyo heart rate zikiongezeka mapigo ya moyo yakiongezeka kwa sababu ya factor tulizoziona kule mwanzo wakati tunasoma um, pass, wakati tunasoma pass rate pia itasababisha cardiac output iongezeke mtu akikushtua mapigo ya moyo yakaenda kasi na pia hata damu itasukumwa kwa kasi nasema hapa anything that affect heart rate of or stroke volume affect cardiac output is acid blood pressure uh, if less blood is ejected from the heart with each beat then blood pressure will be lower because there will be less blood pressing against the vessel wall blood volume affect and diastolic volume and therefore stroke volume uh, blood volume affect and diastolic volume and therefore the stroke volume a uh, ile damu ambayo baada ya pressure kwa imeexact kwenye wao afu wakati inarudi wakati inarudi pale ikiwa blood volume ikiwa iko uh, iko kidogo ambayo ina end, end diastolic volume and therefore stroke volume kwa hiyo with the decreased the stroke volume due to decreased the venous return na damu ambayo inarudi ikiwa iko chini zia has decreased the cardiac output and decreased the blood pressure with increase the stroke volume due to increase the uh, venous return and an increase the contract there is an increase the cardiac output and decrease the blood pressure 
let us see a video which will show uh, uh, affecting blood pressure factor which is affecting blood pressure. Uh, moyo unavokuwa unapampu unapampu damu unapampu kwenda kwenye blood vessel kwa hiyo jinsi unavokuwa unapampu we ndio blood pressure yako inavokuwa uh, tukitaka kupima blood pressure tunapima katika namba zikiwa mbili kama hivi hii ya juu inaitwa systolic na chini inaitwa diastolic. Inaitwa systolic. Hii systolic ni kiwango cha pressure kama tulivyoangalia kule kinachokuwa wakati moyo una contract. Moyo ukianza ku contract basi ile pressure ikifika inakuwa inakuwa exerted kwenye walls, inakuwa ni kubwa ndio inaitwa systolic. Lakini moyo ukirelax, ukirelax una pull da, damu zirudi kwenye moyo hicho uh, kitendo uh, kinaitwa diastolic ambayo ndio hii 80 hapo huu ni mshipa wa mtu ambao yuko salama na shida damu inaweza kafuru bila matatizo lakini huu ni mshipa wa mtu ambaye eza amepata umekuwa damaged same uh, mwisho wa siku una create uh, resistance of blood to flow kwa hiyo inabidi moyo upushe uh, kwa nguvu zaidi ili damu iweze kupita iweze kuovercome hiyo resistance lakini ikitokea resistance imekuwa kubwa utumii dawa ufanye mazoezi au ufanye kitu chochote mwisho wa siku aa, kama hii part iko kwenye brain aa, ikiwa damaged kwenye brain damu itavilia kwenye ubongo kwa hiyo hiyo sehemu ya ubongo hapo hapo damu imevilia kama im, ina act kwenye miguu basi utaweza ukaparalyze kama ina act kutoka chini kuja juu unaweza ukaparalyze chini kuja juu basi hicho kitu tunaweza tunaita stroke wakati mwingine uh, mafuta anaweza kajaa sana kwenye mishipa ya damu lakini mishipa ya damu baadaye ikikatika basi huwa kuna clotting factors zitakuja kwa wingi basi pataganda hii sehemu uh, matokeo yake damu haiwezi kupita kwenda sehemu nyingine uh, matokeo yake hiyo sehemu ambayo ilikuwa kiungo ambacho kinasubiria kupata damu kama damu inakuwa inaishia hapa basi kinaweza kikafa na chenyewe na inategemea kama kikiwa kwenye moyo huu mshipo ukiwa kwenye moyo utakuja utapata kitu kinaitwa heart attack au mshipo ukipasuka unaweza kupata stroke Kwa hiyo ili upunguze hizo riski unatakiwa upunguze kuvuta sigara ule chakula cha ambacho ni cha afya kupunguza uh, uh, vya mafuta usile Fa, uh, move more fanya mazoezi zaidi uh, na ujitahidi kupunguza uzito wako kama utakuwa una tatizo basi utumie 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 da a uh, tunaendelea na kipengele kingine cha factors affecting a uh, blood pressure. Hii ni experiment ilifanywa walichukua na uh, hii uh, test tube ambayo iko iko U shaped wakaweka maji ba, wa, ya kajaa kote. Lakini baada ya kuweka maji yakawa yako level 
wakaongeza na sukari nyingi au chumvi nyingi wakaweka hapa baada ya kuweka chumvi nyingi hapa wakaacha hayo maji baada ya muda wakashangaa alafu hapa katikati wakaweka eh, membrane wakaweka plasma membrane ambayo ah, ni maji hayo hayo akaweka plasma membrane ah, walianza wakaweka plasma membrane hapa katikati alafu wakaongeza upande wa huku chumvi nyingi au sukari nyingi lakini baada ya muda wakashangaa kakuta maji huku yameongezeka alafu huku yamepungua kwa hiyo wakaconclude kwamba the region you see high concentration there will be the movement from of, of water from region of lowest concentration to, to the region of highest concentration kwa hiyo hii ndio point ya kusema kwamba mtu kio nakula chumvi nyingi basi unaweza kusababisha volume of fluid ikawa increased in the blood vessel at the result of blood pressure here uh, is the blood flow uh, blood is flowing through this way but there is a force which exerted toward the walls of artery in it hydro hydrostatic hydrostatic pressure and this a pressure which exerted uh, toward the blood vessel is called osmotic pressure na hii blood vessel inact hapa kama plasma membrane ambapo is this is interstitial fluid uh, when there is high concentration of uh, salt hence the interstitial fluid will remove from interstitial fluid toward the blood vessel at the end the patient will come with a, a lot of uh, blood volume will increase at the end as the force will increase as the resistance will increase at the end the blood pressure will be increased yeah another thing uh, we have an animation here tunaka katuni kidogo hapa kanaonyesha bomba la maji lina flow maji yana flow hapo yanaenda sehemu mbalimbali kumwagilia sehemu mbalimbali hii mfano wa maji ku flow ile coke ni kama mo, uh, moyo na ili bomba bomba lina act kama blood vessel na this is the blood and the, this is the organ whereby the blood is supplying so uh, when when is, uh, there is a resistance somewhere kwa mfano uh, kuna blockage hapa either kuna mafuta yameongezeka kwenye blood vessel uh, matokeo yake blood pressure itakuwa kubwa maeneo haya uh, at the end uh, will result the following the blood pressure will increase at the end will burst hapo ndio mtu anaweza akapata stroke hapo mtu anaweza akapata stroke uh, um, when is the blood vessel uh, the heart is contract then is there is the increased uh, uh, uh our cardiac output is will be increased Uh, tunaona hapa uh, blood pressure ina increase kama e, kapila zikiwa zikiwa fupi kwa mfano hapa haya maeneo hapa blood pressure inakuwa iko 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 ya kawaida lakini inapozidi kwenda huko mbali lens ikiongezeka basi blood pressure inazidi kuwa kubwa Ah, uh, hii damu inayorudi huko ndo tunaita stroke volume. Kwa kama damu itarudi ikiwa nyingi but, but kwa hiyo kati ya output na yenyewe itakuwa kubwa. Kwa hiyo naomba tuendelee na session yetu kama tunavyoota. Ah, uh, here is called the abnormalities of blood pressure, abnormality of blood pressure. Usiseme huyu mtu ana pressure. Ah, uh -uh. kila mtu pressure anayo. 
lakini pressure kuna pressure ya chini na pressure ya juu mtu ana hypertension ana pressure ya juu hizo zinaitwa abnormalities of blood pressure we start with the hypertension it is a term used to describe the abnormality high blood pressure one abnormality high reading does not necessarily indicate pathological condition hypertension without known cause is called primary or essential hypertension I say hii ni point ya muhimu. Ile pressure ambayo mtu hujui imesababishwa hizo na uzito au imesababishwa na nini inaitwa primary hypertension au essential hypertension. Stage 1 hypertension is when the diastolic blood pressure is 90 degree 90 mm of mercury or higher or when the systolic blood pressure is higher than a uh, 140 mm of mercury. Kwa hiyo kuna stage za hypertension. Uh, the first stage of hypertension endapo uh, utampima mtu systolic ikiwa 140 na diastolic ikiwa 190 na kuendelea. Ila hatumpimi mtu mara moja tu umempima ukakuta hizo unasema huyu mtu ana hypertension. No. Unatakiwa umpime katika nyakati tofauti akiwa ametulia iko inazidi hiyo 140 akija amekula akija kwenye wakati fulani akiwa yuko kwenye e, mawazo akiwa hana mawazo unakuta tu iko kule juu basi ndio utasema huyu mtu ana ana hypertension condition associated with hypertension include vitu vinavyosababisha mtu aonekana ana hypertension na e, ni vipatazo intracranial pressure hizi ni, 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 ni condition intracranial pressure arteriosclerosis pa pyrokisaemia hyperthyroidism some renal disease congenital uh, narrowing of the aorta hizi uh, kwa mfano intracranial pressure unakuta mtu uh, pressure imekuwa kubwa kwenye ubongo hii tunaita uh, ni condition inayosababisha mtu awe na hypertension atherosclerosis hardening of arteries mishipa inakuwa migumu inaweza ikasababisha pressure pyro pyrocytosemia red blood cells uh, pyrocytosemia hyperthyroidism au unakuta mtu pituta ina produce thyroid uh, hormones zinakuwa nyingi zaidi hii condition pia na yenyewe inasababisha hypertension some renal disease au magonjwa ya kwenye figo congenital narrowing of the aorta wengine amezaliwa ile aorta inakuwa iko ndogo au iko inakuwa nyembamba inasababisha hypertension condition associated with hypertension include zingine intracranial pressure kama tumeziona atherosclerosis uh, polycythemia ini abnormal increased of red blood cells red blood cells zinakuwa nyingi kama tulivyoona kule zitasababisha hypertension hapa thyroidism some renal disease congenital narrowing of the aorta Hypertension, hypertension hypo. Hii sasa hypo, hypo maana chini, chini. Hypo, hypotension is a blood pressure which is lower than normal, than is systolic reading constant between uh, 68 uh, up to 100 mm and 10 mm of mercury in adult whose normal pressure is higher than this. Sasa kama mtu huwa pressure yake ya kawaida ikiwa ni uh, systolic ile ya juu kabisa ikiwa ni 80 mpaka 110 eh ikiwa ikiwa zaidi ya hapa huyu mtu anakoi kwa kawaida siku ikishuka ikawa mtu ana ana, ana uh, hypertension is the blood pressure which is lower than normal eh, ikiwa chini ya hapa sasa huyu tunasema mtu ana hypertension kwa mtu mzima also um, also static hypotension is the blood pressure that fall when is the current ct or stand kuna wengine akikaa blood pressure inashuka au akisimama inashuka hii condition inaitwa orthostatic hypotension important consideration when assessing blood pressure uh, vitu gani tunavifanya tukiwa tuna tunachunguza tuna hii blood pressure kujua blood pressure cha kwanza is blood pressure sites the blood pressure is usually assessed in the current arm using blood or artery and the, uh, standard 
stethoscope tunatumia stethoscope kwenye branch ya arteri hapa kwenye mkono hapa kwa juu hapa uh, tunaangalia blood pressure assessing the blood on a client uh, thigh is usually indicated in a case of burn trauma or both arm on both arm sasa kuna sehemu nyingine kuna kuna branch ya arteri na kwenye paja ukiona mtu anapimwa kwenye paja kama unakuta labda mwingine amekatika mikono yote au ana vidonda no, kwenye mikono sehemu ambayo huwezi ukampima ah uh, uwezi ukampima ukampima blood pressure kwa tunapima kwenye mapaja method blood pressure can be assessed directly or indirect direct invasive uh, monitoring measurement involves the inv invasion of catheter into blood or or radio or femoral artery. Kwa hiyo tunaweza tukampima mtu pressure directly tukapeleka tukachomeka vifaa vyetu kwenye kwenye mshipa kabisa ambao unaitwa blood au radio artery au femoral artery. Au two non invasive indirect method measure blood pressure as the ascultator and the palpator and the palpatory method kwa kwa ascultate kwa wasketi ni kushika na kupalpating unabinya una binya the ascultator method is commonly uh, used in hospital here yeah, kwa ascultate una, una uh, kwa ascultate una, una, unaweka stethoscope unasikiliza ndio tunatumia sana sana hospitali life span consideration uh, unapopima pressure unatakiwa uangalie na makundi ya ya watu infant a uh, watoto use of pediatric stethoscope with small da flag kwa tunatumia stethoscope ile ndogo the lower age of blood pressure calf can be closer to the antecubital uh, space of an infant arm and thigh pressure are equivalent in children under one year of age kwa ukipimia kwa kutumia mkono au kwenye 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 mapaja kwa mtoto chini ya mwaka mmoja inakuwa iko sawa sawa one quick way of to determine the normal systolic blood pressure of a child is to use the following formula normal systolic blood pressure ambayo ikiwa 80 plus 2 times child's age in year kwa hiyo normal systolic blood pressure kwa watoto wadogo wakati mwingine ukitaka kujua unachukua uh, ile ya juu unachukua inakuwa ni semanini utajumlisha na na product ya umri wa kwa mfano mtu ana miaka mi, uh, ana ana mwaka mmoja utachukua moja mara mbili utapata mbili utajumlisha na semanini utapata systolic pressure nomo yake ni semanini na mbili lakini inabidi upime ukishajua nomo inabidi upime sasa ili kujua abnormal ecode children take blood pressure prior to as an uncomfortable procedure so that the blood pressure is not artificially elevated by discomfort. Kwa hiyo ukitaka kupima mtoto pressure unatakiwa akiwa ametulia ndio unampima pressure. Usimwache akiwa anacheza cheza analia unampima pressure utajikuta unapata majibu ambayo sio sahihi. Elder, do not allow calf pressure to remain high, high any longer than necessary. Determine if the client is taking antihypertension and if when is the last dose was taken. Kwa hiyo ukitaka kupima mtu mkubwa pressure unaangalia je mara ya mwisho alikunywa dawa ya pressure wakati gani. Kama ni muda mwingi au alikunywa jana basi unaweza kumpima ikawa Lakini kama alikunywa muda si mrefu unaweza ukajua hii pressure unayopima sio yenyewe. Home care consideration. Bado tupo hapo kwenye factors za kuassess blood pressure. Tuna consider home care tena. If the client takes blood pressure reading at home uses the same equipment or calibrated it against the system to not be accurate observe the client family member taking the blood pressure and provide feedback in if further instruction is needed if the client is in a chair or low bed the healthcare provider family member should position in a way to maintain the client arm at heart level and so that uh, leading the signal manometer is at eye level. Kwa kama mgonjwa amelala kwenye kitanda 
kiko chini zaidi au kwenye kiti basi unatakiwa uhakikishe uh, unaweka mkono wake vizuri ukae katika hati levo ili uweze kumpima tutaona vizuri jinsi anavyotokiwa mtu kupima uh, we have uh, already see how to assess uh, important consideration in assessing blood pressure ya kwanza important consideration ni blood pressure site methods uh, life span consideration uh, life span to children infant elder home care consideration now we move to other important part in blood pressure phases of uh, colloid sound colloid cost sound uh, hapa ni pale mtu unapotaka kupima blood pressure kuna sauti ambazo unakuwa unazisikiliza unapotaka kupima blood pressure unapotaka kupima blood pressure una locate place umeshamuonesha mgonjwa umeshaonesha wapi ambapo kwenye blankyo wapi ambapo umesikia pasulet unafunga ile kafu yako ukifunga uta inflate inflate maana yake unakaza utakaza unakaza mpaka mshale utafika to the maximum ambapo unaona hapa sasa nimebana vya kutosha baadaye ukianza kuachia taratibu taratibu mshale utakuwa unarudi chini unarudi chini baada ya kurudi chini utasikia mapigo ya moyo kwa mara ya kwanza utasikia kufu utasikia kufu baadaye utakuwa unasikia kufu kuna kipindi utaanza kusikia yanaongezeka haraka baadaye tena utaanza kusikia yanapungua baadaye hautayasikia sasa hata kabisa utayasikia ah pale unapoanza kuyasikia kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa hapo ndio tuna record systolic blood pressure na tunaposikia kabisa pale ameisha kabisa kwa mara ya kwanza anapoanza kuisha mapigo ya moyo Pigo la mwisho kabisa unapolisikia hapo ndio tuna record diastolic blood pressure. Kwa hiyo mshahara utakao kukua umefikia ndio tuna record diastolic blood pressure. So what is the uh, colloidal sound? What is colloidal sound? As the sound head through the stethoscope as the pressure cuff deflated. Wakati una unapunguza e, una, unatoa ile pressure unapunguza pressure inaanza kumwachia mgonjwa ni sauti ambazo zimeweka kwenye stethoscope unazisikia the sound are first heard when is the calf pressure iko to systolic pressure kwa unaweza ukabana kiasi kwamba uh, ukamuumiza kabisa mgonjwa lakini unapoanza kuachia pressure ikianza kuwa iko iko to uh, ile calf pressure ile uliyombania mgonjwa ikawa ikawa iko sawa na systolic pressure and ceases to be heard once the calf has deflated past the systolic pressure kama nilivyoongea it is generally accepted that there is a five phase of uh, colloidal sound each phase it characterized by the volume and the quality of the sound head uh, kila kila phase inakuwa ina kiwango na Uh, ubora fulani wa sauti ambayo utasikia the five below is uh, in, in starts the those face kuna picha hapa chini inaonyesha hizo hatua uh, in this example the systolic and the diastolic pressure amechukulia kwa mfano uh, systolic iwe 120 na diastolic iwe 80 figure uh, number 1 in a show phase of colloidal sound Uh, umembana mgonjwa kiasi kwamba unapoachia sauti unakuwa sauti usiki silent silent baadaye unasikia pigo la kwanza kabisa eh, inaitwa eh, eh, tapping sound utachukua utasikia tapping sound hapo ndio una record systolic pressure uh, baada hapo sauti itakuwa inaanza kuwa sasa soft ikiwa inaendelea kulia a soft uh, swing sound 
huku unaendelea kushuka mshale wako unaendelea kushuka mshale wako unaendelea kushuka fedhi eh, theli utasikia eh, script sound sauti ambayo inakuwa inaendelea kupungua sasa polepole pole. lakini mwishoni utasikia blowing eh, sound yani kama eh, kama vile unasikia sasa damu inapita sasa ambapo kuna sauti ya msikii kabisa kutokea hapo kusikia kapigo kamwisho kamwisho ti kakiwa kadogo kabisa inaitwa da story keep pressure Af, baada ya hapo hautasikia sauti kabisa kwenye phase phase 5 narudia hii ni sauti ya kwanza kabisa utakayoanza kuisikia kwenye phase 1 uta sauti zaanza kuwa zinaanza zinaongezeka baadaye zinaanza kuwa zinaongezeka pale zinapoenda kupungua ile ya mwisho kabisa pigo la mwisho ambayo utasikia ikielekea kwenye silent pigo la mwisho na kuelekea kwenye silent ndio una record za story pressure na silent kabisa utaenda utaiachia kabisa utaenda kwa kwenye zero let us see phase 1 Ah uh, phase number 1 uh, which is a pressure cuff inflated to beyond its historic pressure ukibana okay, cuff kabisa inazidi sa historic pressure the artery is complete uh, occluded and no blood can flow throughout so, ukimbana okay, kabisa mgonjwa hapa unaweza kukuta damu hai tembei kabisa na usikii sauti yoyote consequently no sound are heard above the systolic pressure kwa hautasikia sauti kabisa systolic pressure ikiwa umembana zaidi ya systolic pressure yenyewe at the point where cuff pressure equal to systolic pressure a sharp trapping sound is heard a sharp trapping sound is heard kwa phase 1 tunaona kuna sharp trapping sound is heard pale unapofikia cuff uh, uh, pressure na systolic pressure zikiwa sawa utasikia hiyo sauti We recall the blood pressure or oscillate between systolic and diastolic pressure. A systolic is a pressure is greater enough to force the artery walls open and for blood to uh, spurt through. Uh, as the pressure uh, dips to diastolic however there is the artery walls bang uh, shut again. Baadaye umesikia kwanza lakini baadaye utaanza kusikia tena zinaendelea kwa sababu uh, ile eh, eh, kafu yako ile mfunga mgonjwa bado itakuwa ina pressure yake na na blood na na, na, dam, na mshipa damu itakuwa inaendelea kutoa pressure yake it is the closing shut of the artery wall that is that in the tapping sound phase number 2 eh, phase number 2 kirudi okay, kujuu tunaangalia this phase number 2 this one phase number 2 hapa kuna soft swing sound inafikika This phase is characterized by uh, uh, swing sound caused by uh, swirling currents in the blood as it flows through the artery increase. Utasikia sauti kama vile inaongezeka sasa tu 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 tu. Sometimes if the cuff is deflated too slow the sound vanishes temporarily. Kwa mfano uki uki nani kidogo sana ukipunguza kidogo unaweza usisikie kabisa. This happen when the blood vessel beneath the calf become congested and is often sign of hypertension. Kwa mtu ukiona umepunguza kidogo afu sauti huisikii kabisa ni kama mtu akiwa na hypertension. The, the congestion eventually clears and the sound resume. But, lakini baadaye sauti utaanza kusikia tena. The intervening period is called the auscultatory gap. Kwa hichi kipindi kati ya pale unapoisikia sauti inapoendelea tu 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 inaitwa scatter gap phase number 3 let us come back to our diagram to see phase number 3 inaitwa script sound script sound script sound in, in this phase there is a resumption resum, resum, of script tapping sound similar to, zo, to those had in phase 1 sasa hapa uh, at this stage the increased flow of blood is pounding against the artery wall hapa each ki, kipindi ni kama pale tulipoanza tumefunga tumeachia ilipofika kafu kafu pressure ikawa sawa na na na, 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 na 
systolic pressure tukasikia sauti inalia tu alafu baadaye ndio zikaanza zingine phase 2 lakini ikifika kwenye phase this ile saundi tuliyosikia kwanza clear tu inakuwa kama vile ndio inakuaga kabisa sasa ile ina, inalia tena tu alafu ndio zinaanza ku decrease tu tu tu, tu kwenye phase 4 so in a, this is a is a resumption of a script tapping sound phase 4 at this point there is an abrupt muffling of sound eh sauti inaanza kushuka kabisa yeah, the blood flow is becoming less turbulent some medical practitioner choose to record this point the diastolic pressure ulipoisikia pale tu alafu baadaye unasikia tu paka mwisho kabisa uh, hii inaitwa abrupt muffling sound ndio hapa kwenye phase 4 tuna record the diastolic pressure kwa hiyo unaweza kuambiwa in which phase do we record the systolic it is systolic in phase 1 and in which in phase 2 and which sound is the head inaitwa abrupt muffling of sound inaanza kutokea phase 4 ah uh, let us see hii inaitwa blowing sound kwa hiyo hizi ni sauti ambazo zinasikika hapo utaanza utasikia tapping sound baadaye itaanza hii unaosikia baadaye tuta swinging sound a uh, script sound baadaye nashuka inakuwa blowing sound at the end uh, kwenye phase 5 this is the point at which sound ceases to be heard or together au sikii kabisa sauti the blood flow has returned to normal and is uh, now lamina uh, kwa hiyo damu inakuwa imeshashuka ime, ime, imerudi katika uh, mpangilio wake wa kawaida the pressure cuff is deflated uh, entire and removed baada hapo unatoa kabisa bad ple, ile pressure na unamuondolea ile kafu uliyokuwa umefunga hapo ndio unapokuwa unasikiliza e, na kuchukua vipimo vya blood pressure common error uh, uh, in assessing blood pressure and is their effect sasa hizi ni, ni, ni mistake ambazo ukizifanya unasababisha effect gani blade akafu tu nalo ukichukua ukichukua nani ile e, kikembamba zaidi kale kakumfungia basi unaweza kupata pressure ya juu ikiwa tu wide ikiwa kubwa zaidi unaweza kupata pressure ya chini kwa hiyo unatakiwa iwe minimal am unsupported mkono mtu akiwa ameunyanyua una heng heng juu e, blood pressure inaweza ikawa juu infrequent in, in rest before the a, a, assessment kabla mtu hajapumzika kabla hujaanza pressure inakuwa iko juu repeating assessing too quickly unatakiwa ukimaliza unamwacha una kwanza ukitaka kurudia unamwacha kama dakika mbili baadaye ndio unarudia tena procedure lakini ukilipeat too quickly eh, high systolic and high diastolic leading unaweza kupata leading zikawa juu calf rapping too loose kwa mfano umemfunga mkononi umelegeza unaweza kupata uh, high pressure lakini deflecting calf too slow ikiwa iko unapunguza una, una, una ile, ile pressure yako unapaweza kupata high diastolic leading failure to use the same arm constantly in, uh, in constant measure uh, uh, measurement arm the above the level of, of the heart mkono ukiwa umeweka juu zaidi ya ya ya, ya moyo unaweza ukapata uh, low blood pressure uh, assessing immediately after a meal au oh, while client kwa hiyo mfano mtu ameshakula ametoka kuvuta sigara au uh, ana, ana maumivu unaweza ukapata high blood pressure failure to identify au skull total gap ukishindwa kuzijua zile gap umesikia du au ile kaka mwisho kabe du ingol the low systolic pressure unaweza kupata low unaweza kaja kuisikia mwishoni kale kana malizikia wakati ulitakiwa kusikia ile e, tapping sound ya mwisho ilivyosikia procedure for assessing blood pressure tunaendelea ukitaka ku, ku assess blood pressure unapata tifatari kwanza unaanza una assess signs and symptoms of hypertension such as unauliza au unaangalia dalili za 
za za pressure nozi bleed mfano mtu amekuja ana bleed kwenye ma, uh, kwenye mapua kichwa kinamuuma sana ringing in the ear flashing of face and fatu kina wakati mwingine kiwa amechoka kwa hiyo namwangalia unaweza kujua hizi hizi dalili mtu anaweza kaa tayari mwenyewe ana pressure kwa hiyo hata ujisi unavyokuwa unatafuta una eh, maximum reading kwa systolic una unahakikisha una bana iende mbali zaidi signs and symptoms of hypotension hizi ni dalili za mtu mwenye mwenye blood eh, pressure ikiwa chini tachycardia uh, tachycardia utaona mapigo pulse zimekuwa raised pulse rate zikiwa juu pressure inakuwa chini pulse rate zikiwa juu pressure huwa inakuwa chini dizziness mtu anasikia kizunguzungu mental confusion amekuwa confused restlessness atuli cool and calm skin anakuwa ngozi ya, ya, ya ubaridi unaweza kukuta pressure iko chini peri or cyanotic skin anakuwa na ngozi kama vile ya blue blue flani kama mkumukiwa damu hata pressure yake unaweza kukuta iko chini factor affecting body pressure such as hizi ni factor ambazo zinaweza zika affect body pressure activities kwa mfano kazi emotional au stress pain and is the time the client rest smoke the or in uh, ingest caffeine ukitumia kahawa au ume, umevuta sigara huwa is naongeza pressure planning <coughs> tunaendelea kwenye assessment ukianza kuplani lazima uanze na equipment uwe na stethoscope blood pressure cuff of the appropriate size uwe na na ile cuff ya kumfungia mgonjwa ambayo ina size mbalimbali sifiko na maona manometer sifigin sifigimo manometer eh, ni hicho kifaa ambacho kinakuwa kina reading zake a container with tissue wipes with alcohol uona container ambayo ina tissue tissue ambazo zimewekwa kwenye alcohol ili katika kufanyia usafi wa ngozi sehemu unaoenda kupimia pressure technique au procedure ukitaka kupima blood pressure lazima upate ufate procedure zifuatazo e, tumekwisha kuangalia kwenye equipment ambazo zinahitajika Aa, sasa tunaenda kwenye kipengele kingine inaitwa techniki uh, or procedures first of all we are suppose uh, when we want to measure or to take uh, blood pressure to the patient first we are supposed to explain to the client what you are going to do why it is necessary and how he or she can cooperate what you are going to, to do nataka ni nataka ni kucheki eh, mapigo yako eh, nataka ni kucheki pressure yako why it is necessary kwa sababu itatusaidia kujua kama una tatizo la kiafya na kama una ukikutwa na tatizo la kiafya ni vyema ukilishughulikia mapema halitakuja kuwa kubwa na tukikuta una tatizo la kiafya basi eh, tutakupa njia za kuweza kukufanya wewe usipate tena tatizo la kiafya any how oh he oh she can cooperate eh, na tunakuomba eh, unisikilize ndakacho kuambia kama kunyanyua mkono unyanyue nikikwambia uweke hapa unamuelekeza atakachotakiwa kukifanya kwamba tutakuomba utoe upandishe shati yako kama ni pana kama sio kama ni aliwezi kufika juu basi aweze kulivua kabisa lakini katika katika confidentiality na katika lugha ambayo anaweza kakuelewa ukishamuelewesha hapo atakuelewa lakini ukifika unamchukua mdada wa watu unaanza kumpandisha gauni yake discuss how the result will be used in planning further care to treatment matokeo yakiwa utamweleza kwamba matokeo yakiwa kama una pressure ikiwa kwa kiwango hichi utatakiwa ule chakula vizuri ili usile vyakula vya mafuta au uchumvi au nini au kama ikiwa iko juu basi utaanza kunywa dawa itakuweka katika hali nzuri kama itakuwa kawaida basi mambo yatakuwa hivi na hivi kwa hiyo na discuss how the result will be kabla utamwambia matokeo yanaweza kawa pressure ikiwa chini au juu na ikiwa chini kuna ya chini ya awali kuna ya chini ya juu na no, kuna chini ya, ya kuna ya, ya juu 
uh, ikiwa zaidi na kuna inaitwa uh, kuna normal high kuna kuna hypertension Wash hand and observe appropriate infection control procedure. Ufuate zile procedure za kuosha mikono kama tulivyoeleza. Provide current privacy, provide current privacy. Hakikisha hayo maeneo mliopo hamna mtu anayeweza kuwaona au wakaingilia kama ni chumbani hamna haja ya kuweka screen. Kama ni kwenye wodi basi unaweka ile screen uh, ili watu wengine wasiangalie unachokifanya. Position the client appropriate mweke vizuri kabisa the other two client should sit unless otherwise specified kama ni mtoto kama ni mkubwa anatakiwa akae kama ni mtoto inabidi awe kwa mama yake lakini kama ni mkubwa unamwambia akae both feet should uh, be flat eh? Mi, mi, miguu yake yote iwe flat huku chini sio inaninginia au imenyenyemea amenyanyua kidole kidole cha chini kidole gumba cha chini amna inatakiwa iwe flat imegusa kabisa visigino vyote viko vizuri on the floor since the legs crossed at the knee eh, result in eh, eh, elevated ah, lakini ukinyanyua miguu juu unawezekana Uh, systolic and diastolic blood pressure ikawa juu the elbow should be slightly flexed with, with the palm of the hand facing up and the forearm supported at the heart level uh, the elbow should be slightly flexed uh, uh, each kiwiko kinatakiwa akiwe uh, flexed use uh, okay usikinyanyue kwa juu hivi unatakiwa ukiachiwe flex the kidogo and the palm of the hand facing upward eh? na kiganja chako cha mkono kiwe kinaangalia juu and the forearm support at the heart eh, na mkono huku juu forearm ikiwa iko eh, ime, ime, ime karibia na kwenye moyo the blood pressure is normally similar in sitting standing and lying position. Ukipima pressure mtu akiwa amekaa, amesimama na akiwa amelala, blood pressure iko vile vile. The blood pressure increases when the arm is uh, below the heart level and it decreases when the arm is above the heart level. Uh, arm najua mkono uko maeneo gani. Kwa hiyo sasa mkono wako hapa karibia na blancho pakiwa kapo karibu na na heart level hapo hamna shida ila ukiwa chini zaidi ya heart level kuna pressure inaweza kupima tofauti lakini ukiwa juu zaidi pressure inaweza kupima tofauti kwa mtu kama akisimama na hakikisha aweke mkono wake juu ya meza ili iwe uh, isiwe uh, mbali zaidi na heart level au kama akiwa amekaa hivyo hivyo uh, ana kama akiwa amelala unaweka iwe karibia na heart level the blood pressure increases when the arm is below the heart level and decreases when the arm is below the heart level next step lap the de de uh, deflated calf evenly around the upper arm una una unamvalisha ile kafu yako Lo, locate the blanky artery unahakikisha ume umeangalia kuna mishale inaonesha blanky artery ilipo apply the center of the bladder directly over the artery apply the center of the bladder directly over the artery the bladder in, inside the calf must be directly over the artery to be compressed if the leading is to be accurate for an adult it places the lower border of the calf approximately 2.5 au cm au 1 in above the anticubital space kwa hiyo uh, unaweka uh, ile bladder yako ikiwa juu kidogo kwenye cubital space ni haka ka, kama kaashimu fulani kapo hapa karibia na katika mbele ya kiwiko hapa kwenye cubital ndio inaitwa eh, cubital space sentimita mbili kidogo uh, unaweka kama vidole viwili hapa ndio unaweka unazungusha una, hiyo una, una unazungusha hiyo eh, deflecting cuff If this is the, uh, is the current initial examination perform primary palpation determine of the systolic pressure uh, perform primary 
pa, pato ready tamini. Kwa hiyo unachukua mikono yako una, unagusa kwanza tutaona kwenye video vizuri unagusa kuangalia eh, systolic blood pressure ukizisikia zipo hapo ndio unafuata process nyingine eh, initial estimate the tell the health care provider the maximum pressure to which the uh, manometer need to be elevated sub, uh, subsequent determinant uh, Palpate the branch of artery with the finger, close the valve to the pump by turning the knob clockwise. Unafunga valve, kuna valve ambayo ukifungua ina ina ile ile kafu iliyokuwa imebana inaachia. Kwa hiyo unaifunga kwanza ukifunga ndio unakuja una pump up the calf until you no longer feel the branch of pass. Una pump wakati huo umeweka stroscope masikioni paka usiposikia yale mapigo ya moyo um, at that pressure at that pressure as the blood cannot flow through the artery paka unapoona ukisiposikia unajua kabisa damu haisafiri kwenye artery not pressure on the sphygmomanometer to which pass is no longer felt this give an estimate of maximum pressure required to measure the systolic pressure kwa hiyo uki 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 inflate zaidi uki 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 pump zaidi ndio unaweza ukapata maximum blood pressure kwa mfano unaweza uka ukaishia labda kwenye 180 wakati wengine wagonjwa wanakuja na blood pressure hadi 200 release the pressure completely in the calf and wait 1 to 2 minutes before making further measurement a waiting period gives the blood uh, trapped in the vein time to be released otherwise force high systolic reading will occur position the uh, stethoscope appropriate unaweka stethoscope clean the ear piece with the alcohol or recommended disinfectant insert the ear mm, insert the ear uh, at, uh, at of the stethoscope in in your ear to that is the unaweka ile stethoscope yako masikioni na unaweka stethoscope yako kwenye ile sehemu ambayo uliona kuna 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 pasi ulizozipata sound ahead more clear, clearly when the ear uh, attack the uh, flow the directly of the ear canal ensure that the stethoscope hang freely from the ear to the diaphragm uh, rubbing the stethoscope against the object can you obli eh, brigade the sound of the blood within the artery usio na isugua sugua unaweza uka, uka interfere sauti usisikie vizuri place the bell side of the uh, amplifier of the stethoscope of the blood uh, blood branch uh, pass unaweka stethoscope hapo stethoscope yako kwenye branch pass auscultate the the current blood pressure pump up the calf until the manometer sete milimita hichi above the point where the blood passes this appear release the valve baadaye ile valve ule ifunga mwanzo unaanza kuipunguza pole pole on the calf carefully so that pressure decreases the rate of 2 to 3 mm kwa hiyo ukiwa unapunguza uhakikishe inaenda inapungua katika level ya kwa mfano ilikuwa 200 200 inakuja 180 inakuja 100 ni ilikuwa 200 inakuja 198 kwa hiyo unapunguza katika level hii ya 2 up to 3 per second if the rate is faster or slower an error is measure, measurement may occur kwa uki, ukishusha sana au kidogo sana kwa unaenda kwa kidogo kidogo kana tembea kama kidogo basi unaweza ukapata era kama tulizoziona as the pressure falls it identifies the manometer reading at each of the five phases if possible kwa hiyo wakati inashuka unaanza kusikiliza zile sauti kama tulizoziona kwenye phase tano zilizopita deflate the calf rapidly and complete ukishapata nani yako ya mwisho basi unafungua uh, alaka alaka unamalizia wait 1 to 2 minutes before making further uh, determination kama unataka kurudia usubiri dakika moja au dakika mbili tena repeat the above step once twice necessary confirm the accuracy for the reading 
uh, ili upate uhakika zaidi unaacha baada ya dakika moja paka mbili afu unarudia kupima tena ili upate correct reading repeat the above afu narudia zile step if if this is a current initial examination repeat procedure on the current as a arm the difference between arm should not be more than 10 mm of make kwa hiyo kama kama unaweza taka kurudia upande wa pili lakini utofauti wake usizidi kumi Kwa mfano ulipata mia na kumi sasa hivi upate mia na ishirini Ulipata mia tisini sasa hivi upate mia themanini. Usipate mia sitini afu kulipata mia arobaini. The arm the, the, the arm found to have the higher pressure should be used for subsequent examination. Sasa mwanzo ni ulipata mia na kumi baadaye ukapata mia ishirini au ulipata mia ishirini baadaye ukapata mia na kumi utachukua ipi utachukua ile uliyopata pressure ya juu record the blood pressure reading in the patient chart report any abnormality noted kwa hiyo utarecord na utaripoti kama hii ni blood pressure high blood pressure au low blood pressure okay so let us see the video on how to take blood ndio hapa tunaendelea sasa kuonesha uh, jinsi gani ya kuchukua blood pressure Aa, kwa njia ya video ambayo nadhani itakuwa ni njia rahisi zaidi ya wewe kuweza kuelewa. Na baada ya hii video unatakiwa uweze ku practice. Eh? Practice hata hizo hatua ambazo zinafanyika. Nadhani utakuwa una vifaa vyako pale, una manometer, una stethoscope mponavyo. Aa, kama una jaribu basi hata ku demonstrate, hakikisha hivi vitu vinakaa, hizi step zinakaa kichwani. First uh, ya kwanza unatakiwa ujiandae. Ukishajiandaa unajitambulisha mwenyewe wewe ni nani na unataka kufanya nini kama tulivyoona na unamuelezea majibu yatakuwaje na kila kitu na jinsi anachotakiwa kusaidia kufanya. Hakikisha mgonjwa hajatumia eh, hajatumia kahawa au hajavuta sigara. Unatakiwa unamuuliza eh, eh, mzee ume umekunywa ume haba kahawa eh, saa ngapi? Anakwambia mimi kahawa huwa situmii. Au anaambia vipi bwana wewe ume, ume, umevuta sigara? Na usimwambie tu umevuta sigara. Unamwambia bwana nimekuuliza hivyo kwa sababu kama ume, umevuta sigara basi unaweza tukapata majibu ambayo sio sahihi kama umevuta sigara basi nenda uje baadaye au uje kesho ukiwa hujavuta sigara mgonjwa akije unatakiwa umwache apumzike kama dakika tano hakikisha vifaa viko sawa na umehakikisha usili vitu vya uh, equipment ambazo natakiwa unazo <coughs> tuna hii ya kwanza inaitwa stethoscope ambayo ndio taenda kusikilizia hizo sauti zako tuna sphygmomanometer uh, hii ni ya kusikilizia pasilet lakini kwa watu wa Ulaya lakini sisi tutatumia mikono na uh, kuna blood pressure cuff ni hizi hizi ndio blood uh, pressure cuff niyo kwaambia mfunge mgonjwa uh, ukifunga akiwa kadogo zaidi unapata pressure kubwa akiwa kubwa sana inakuwa hivi ndio hizi kwa hizi ziko kwa size mbalimbali mbali kulingana na mkono wa mtu na unapotaka size nzuri inatakiwa iweze kukava asilimia themanini ya mkono kasikae kidogo tu asilimia hamsini au arobaini ah kuna kisha unanawa mkono au unapaka una sanitizer unachuzi me, uh, measurement size 
Measurement site tumeshaziona hapo ni kwenye Blankio. Eh kwa uh, Blankio. Hii ni Blankio Hotel kwa hiyo hii ndio Blankio. Na naposema 80% ni kuanzia hapa mpaka hapa. Huu mkono huu umesha kuwa covered. Na hii ndio hat to the hat side. Sehemu nyingine ni kwenye femoral au kwenye kwenye thigh. Hii tuliona kwamba mgonjwa ambaye unaamua kumpimia huko aidha ana injury ya hiyo mikono yote miwili kama ni mmoja basi unampimia mmoja sasa unakuta mtu labda ana kanyula mbili kwa kuna kuna wagonjwa unakuta labda ame ame, ame damu imeisha kwa kiwango kikubwa au mpungukio wa maji unaamua kumwekea kanyula mbili uh, au au ame ruptured placenta placenta imepasuka na mwaisha hospitali uh, unahakikisha unaweka kanyula mikono yote miwili ukimwekea mtu kanyula mikono miwili hauwezi ukaweka hauwezi uh, uka, 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 ukapima pressure mkono ambao unakanywa kwa mfano umeweka hapa kanyula alafu unapima pressure hapa hamna haitakiwi. Kwa hiyo kama anakanyula hapa basi unampima huku. Kama anakanyula huku na huku basi tunampimia miguuni. Kama ana pain mikono inamuuma usimwekee, ana majeraha injal au ana surgical incision amepasuliwa usimwekee au mwingine ameweka kijiti hapa amepasuliwa mdau ameweka kijiti ana kidonda basi tusipime hayo maeneo. Hizi ni position ambazo unaweza kumweka mgonjwa tuliona mgonjwa akikaa akisimama au akiwa amelala zote hazina shida kategemea na unapotaka ah miguu tulivyosema inatakiwa miguu yote iwe chini iwe chini kabisa kama hapo ah the limb should be flex uh, full exposed to uh, do not apply over cause usiweke kwenye nguo usiweke kwenye nguo kabisa using the arm patient should be supported so that the midpoint of the upper arm is level with the heart with the elbow extended and the palm facing upward then palpate ah uh, mkono uko kwenye site ya heart Usi, usiwe away na unakuwa uko flexed na umekuwa supported na baada ya hapo hii palm inakuwa iko imeface upward imeface E, palm inakuwa imefesti hapo hapo. Alafu unapima pasulet umeshazisikiliza ziko maeneo haya. Alafu unachukua unamwekea kafu yako hapo. inatakiwa Uh, ichi unachokiweka hapa uh, cha ambao tunakuja kuridi kiwe above kiwe 10 cm above the cubit of fossa cubit of fossa ni ili eneo kama unapima kwenye paja akiwa amesimama basi e, hii nani yako inatakiwa iangalie kwa mbele na kama akiwa amelala basi inatakiwa iwe aside the popliteal artery will be used for blood pressure measurement this is easier if the patient is in a prone position please note that the systolic blood pressure in the popliteal artery is usually 20 to 30 mm of mercury higher that in the brachial artery. 
Four, palpate the artery to determine the systolic blood pressure. This ensures that the auscultatory Onaangalia blood pressure unaisikia wapi? Unaendelea kubana mpaka usisikie hizo pasilet. Una unaacha kwa dakika moja mpaka mbili. Baadaye unaweka stethoscope yako kwenye brachial artery. Unaanza kupampu mpaka iwe ya zaidi ya Baadaye unaachia unaachia polepole Unaachia ukiwa unasikiliza zile phase 1, 4 na na 5. Phase 1 kwenye phase 1 ndio tunasikiliza systolic na kwenye phase 4 tunasikiliza diastolic. Phase 5 tutakuja kusikia no sound. Then deflate the cuff rapidly. 7. If a repeat blood pressure measurement is necessary. Ukirudia unatakiwa usubiri dakika mbili ndio uweze kupima tena. 8. If required for your assessment Repeat the procedure on the other arm or in a standing position to gain a postural blood pressure measurement. 9. Remove the cuff. Mshoni unaondoa kafu yako. Advise the patient of the Baada ya hapo unamshauri mgonjwa majibu uliyoyapata. 11. Clean and return the equipment. 11 unanawa mikono yako alafu unarudisha vifaa vyako. 12. Kumina mbili una dokumenti majibu uliyoyapata. <coughs> na ukiwa na dokumenti ukiandika 120 ya juu inaitwa systole na ya, ya chini itaitwa diastole. Documentation post the assessment is essential and should include the location the BP was taken and any factors that may have impacted the result. Unapo document unahakikisha unasema uh, the pressure was, was taken on a blank for a blank side site na unasema kwamba uh, pressure yako ilikuwa ni ipi which is normal au high au which it is low. Further, it is important that health professionals note that any drastic changes in blood pressure can be a sign of clinical deterioration. Common errors. Bladder cuff too narrow. Meona sasa blood pressure uh, kwa mfano hii kafu ikawa nyembamba kabisa. Limb being assessed is unsupported. Ah uh, mkono haujawa supported huko umehang juu. Haitakiwi. Mtu amekuja hajapumzika ametoka kukimbia haitakiwi. Umemaliza hujakaa dakika moja au mbili unalipiti hapo hapo haitakiwi. Haujakaa vizuri kafu yako. Au umeachia umeachia uh, kafu yako haraka sana deflating the cuff too slowly au me deflate pole pole sana failure to use the same site for consistency of results limb being assessed is measured while above their heart level mikono ume, umepima above the heart level haivitakiwi uh, thanks for listening uh, that was how to take it blood pressure and uh, the factor was affecting blood pressure here is the key point blood pressure reflect cardiac output peripheral cardiovascular resistance blood volume and uh, blood viscosity factor influencing blood pressure are age sex stress gender uh, med uh, medication obesity uh, diurnal variation and the disease process increases in peripheral resistance blood volume and cardiac output is that in high blood pressure 
conversely decrease in any of those factors leading to low blood pressure. Three main sources of peripheral resistance ni blood vessel diameter, blood viscosity and the total vessel length. If arteries lose their elasticity and they become more rigid, blood pressure increase. In taking blood pressure, one has to assess, plan, and carry out the measure, making sure a patient is comfortable. Uh, what is the pulse uh, pressure mentioned is a common insight of uh, assessing blood pressure. What is the factor affecting blood pressure? I maswali. This key point in your muhim in our mkanganyiko kati ya kujua hizi factor influence in blood pressure na blood pressure reflect what na 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 peripheral resistance inajua nini so make sure you practice uh, uh, and they really very carefully this is the more important it will help us when we reach into the clinical skills kwa tumeanza hizi somo baada ya hapo tutakuja kuingia kujifunza clinical skills Thank you for listening and I wish you a good and happiness in your studies.